Hi everyone, it's this here. Thank you for joining me today. I am sharing a design project for Caroline's craft tree and I'm so excited you guys. I was so inspired by the ephemera pieces that she sent and the digitals that she also um, sent to me. She has both in her shop and I made this small junk journal. I love the size um, and I was um, able to cover it with some of her gorgeous pieces that she sent me. I did use a piece of fabric that I had for the cover as well and I love how it turned out. I wanted to give it this kind of like rustic feel. She sent the little crocheted flower. I just added a button to that and then she also sent the uh, dreams title slash book plate and I added those brass colored um, brads to it and then this brass button and I think it turned out so gorgeous. The image is also from the digital kit and I'm just going to take you inside and show you all the goodies I got to work with. This was such a fun project to make. I love making this size and I did uh, shrink down her digitals to make it. Uh, so let me show you what I've done. I'm so happy. So um, on the inside here I made a pocket and this paper clip is one of the ones that she sent. Um, it's got the flower and the word courage on it. I think it's just such a gorgeous paper clip. She carries these in her shop and so I added one of them here. The, the little trim piece as well is part of uh, something that's in her shop and it's like lace and it's a gorgeous color. It fits this perfectly. And then this little envelope as well, she sent it and she has these available in her shop. So here are some of the digitals as well. I tucked this one in to the side pocket. So this is like a little double pocket in the front. Here, what I did is one of the um, envelopes that she makes is like double sided envelope. And I added this last trim that's also in her shop um, to the um, envelope here. So this is one end of the envelope. Um, here is a digital from the shop as well and also this flower that she included as part of the ephemera. So everything I'm showing you she would have in her shop. Um, so she sent me some samples so that I could um, add them to my work. These here as well she has uh, two different sizes and I think I've used the larger one in the back. These are also her digitals and here I uh, folded the postcard to make it into a little journaling spot in there. And I used a variety of designer papers as well as her digitals. As I, as I mentioned, I shrunk them down. This is also a lace trim from the shop. And then I used my wallpaper um, as page there. It's that paintable wallpaper that I love. It's so nice and thick. Another image from her digital. And then this one with the wish here, I put it on a paper clip, um, but she also included this um, little tag which I love how she's doing these tags you guys so I just added it to the paper clip and this is also part of the digital and then this is a J9 scrap shop bag and I just included um, a little piece of the um, digital as well because I was cutting it up so I've used some of the leftover bits a guest check from J9 scrap shop and then here we've got another image of that gorgeous digital I did um, get some of the tags as well. I cut this one down. This was kind of like a bookmark I think and I cut it down a little bit to make it a smaller tag. Just add a little washi tape to the side and then again as you can see all the gorgeous images and colors that are in this digital. Uh, again these ones I shrunk down a bit and made them into another little tuck spot as well as this one and that's a little tuck spot there as well. And then here I used the watercolor book page. I had this gorgeous image and I thought I would add it to the center because it went with the colors. And then this, again, this pocket is made with a vintage um, garden book page. So as you can see, um, there's just so much to it and so many things she carries in her shop. Like this one here, she sent this um, fabric little ruffle trim that I just added to this journal card. I loved using all the colors and all the different pieces she sent. It is so, so fun to get something new to play with. Here again, I added um, a piece. This is from a Edith Holden page that I like to add just extras in case, you know, you want to use them somewhere else in the book or in a different project. This one flips out and so does this one here is the other side of that gorgeous image. I'll link everything below that I used in the name of the kit as well. I just, I forgot to write that down. 
I love this page. Um, I added more fabric to it, like it matches the back. I added another one of her little tags on the paper clip. Uh, sorry, on that little pin that's also in her shop. And then just a little tuck spot with a journaling card. But I love how it feels because I use the um, wallpaper. So I kind of fold it over, made a pocket, and it just feels so nice and thick. I absolutely love how that turned out. Again, another piece of her gorgeous um, digital. And um, the back here is the other side of the envelope that I was mentioning to you guys with more of that eyelash trim that I added to this paper clip. And then the other side here, I didn't add anything to the envelopes. So the back here, this fabric piece as well, she sent um, a piece of it and I added that as a pocket to the back. And then she had these giant tags and then the larger, um, I forgot what these are called, but she also has those in her shop. And it's quite, um, it's quite a nice like detail to them as well. They're quite aged. So I had a lot of stuff still left over. So I started making another little project with, um, with the digitals and the ephemera. So let me show you another thing I started working on. I haven't yet finished, um, but I just want to show you how much more you can get out of things. So this is another one of the paper clips that she has. This is one of the tags I couldn't show you before. Um, she kind of stitches all that together because it was too large for the little mini book that I made. Another little envelope. And then inside I added a, another postcard and then one of the envelopes that's also in the kit. It's a larger envelope. And I added a little more of that fabric trim to the front of the bottom of the bag there. So I hope you guys enjoyed my share. Thank you so much, Caroline. I had so, so much fun with your items, your ephemera and your digitals. I loved playing with all the goodies. Guys, take a look at her shop. She has so many things in there. Anyways, thank you for stopping by and I will see you guys soon. Bye.